hope y'all welcome back so we're gonna watch these judge mathis most emotional moments so yeah without further ado y'all about to hop straight to this video so let's watch right now you Why? My, i don't hear no more of this hand me a piece of tissue man we hear all sorts of stories Kevin. in the courtroom and we can never be prepared <clears throat> for what will happen Today, we're going to show you stories that are so touching that your eyes will fill up with tears. So keep your Please. tissues close because we're about to start this weeping journey. On September 23rd, my husband and I celebrated our 11 year wedding anniversary. Three days later, I got notified that my son had passed away due to suicide. Oh this woman lost her child and went into deep grief. But one day she received a message that could give her hope and change her life for the better. The girlfriend's pregnant. Out of nowhere, I get a message in my inbox from this young lady, Tiffany, stating that she had reason to believe that my son fathered her child. This news was an incredible blessing for her. The fact that she could have a grandchild gave her a new purpose in life. Aww. When I seen him and I held him for the first time, literally, it felt like I could breathe. It felt literally like I might be so able to why are live. we here for a blood test? <laughs> However, the whole situation is still not as certain as it might seem. She's still not sure that this is her grandson, so it might well turn out to be one hell of a disappointment. Ooh. My mom didn't want me to get too attached because they eventually moved to I to see how close me and my son was. So they know what this could do to me, what, what potential this has to do to me if this isn't my grandson, and I tried to explain that to her. She has high hopes that all of this is true. The child's mother also gives her great faith that she can see some part of her son in this child. I was seven months pregnant, Darion passed away. So in March when we got the results back that he wasn't, that the person I was seeing wasn't my child's father, I did message rose and i told her that that i thought darion was my son's dad yeah. there's a huge responsibility on this woman for what she claims but she seems completely sure of what she's doing she needed to know 100 percent, and you told her 100 i said I'm yeah, i said i was sure because i hadn't been with anyone else both women are deeply hurt and now all they need are the results of the DNA test. However, the judge keeps them in the dark for so long. I hope it is. I hope it is. Please, God. But I have a bathroom. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little break. Dad, I'm I'm please don't do this to us. I'll be back soon. Okay. <laughs> the results surprised him so much that he had to take a few deep breaths before telling the results to his family. We just don't know if this is happy or sad news. Right. Give me a hug, baby. I'm sorry. It's not, it's not your grandson. <laughs> I need to go. You're feeling right. We're going to do some counseling. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, my God. Don't Can you no imagine? Kids. She no has kids. this attachment to this baby This already. is one of the most moving scenes ever. Everyone is heartbroken, including the judge, who is deeply into the case so much that he can't control his emotions. Oh my God, I the outcome of this case was incredibly sad and unexpected. Everyone hopes that their lives can go on with happiness. About to get attached. Well, young lady, you said you hadn't been with anyone else. <laughs> and it's obvious that oh you God, were dishonest like about it. that. There's no doubt that she made a huge mistake, but the emotional weight of what happened leaves everyone speechless. I don't know what to say, ma'am. I gotta say a prayer with you guys. That's the best <laughs> both of them, you both of you. We don't attached. Yeah. I hope that after this case, you're able to continue watching and can bear even more because yeah. the next story is no less dramatic. 
plaintiff, Maria Luckett, says when she was 13, she gave birth to a little girl and was forced to give the baby up for adoption. Maria claims less than a week ago, she made contact with the defendant, who she believes is her long lost daughter. From the very beginning, we already know that this story will be very emotional. But if you think the plaintiff's life was dramatic, then wait until you find out what happened to her alleged daughter. The defendant, Kawitha Drayton, was adopted when she was three months old. And at the age of 10, her adoptive father shot her adoptive mother and then turned the gun on himself. Both of these women have a mystery in their lives that they want to solve. Judge Mathis will try to reunite this family. You over there crying already? I know. <laughs> yes, ma'am. It started when I was 13 years old. I found out I was pregnant. And my mother was mad at me, but she couldn't do nothing about it. But she said with that we was going to have to give her up for adoption. The claimant starts her story from the very beginning. She's like. now mature enough to find out who her daughter is, and that is what will finally happen today. Like I celebrate her birthday every year, April 15th. Like twins. I've been celebrating her birthday the last 42 years. And like, she's my only child. I don't have any more kids. And I always wanted to be a mother. There's no doubt that the whole situation is very tragic. But how did it actually happen that the women found each other? She contacted my cousin and stated that she was uh, adopted at the age of three and that she think that I was her mother. So I called the number and told her my name. We all keep our fingers crossed for a successful outcome, especially keeping in mind what tragic results the previous case ended with. I'm kind of speechless, and particularly knowing that you all only uh, discovered this a week ago. Yeah, it hasn't and even been a week. So I'm glad you all came to us. I tell folks we do more than just have fun and joke on this show. The judge is more than happy to help this family find out the truth. Before that happens, we need to know more details. I was put up for adoption. I was adopted when I was three months old. I had a good life. I was the only child then, and when I turned 10, I lost my parents. Mm. My father shot my mother, and then he shot himself. Her story is a real tear squeezer. You really have to have no heart not to get emotional listening to them. The record's on the 27th of September, and when I seen her name on there, it said Marie Luckett. After many years of trying to find her biological mother, she finally managed to trace some clues. We also can't ignore what a generous person the defendant is with her heartwarming words. Her main thing was she didn't want me to be mad at her. Right. Like I told her, I'm not, I was, I never grew up being mad at you because you yeah. were so young at the time. Um, right. You were a kid yourself. Hi. Right. And so I was, it was always love for her even though I didn't know her. Both definitely deserve to know the truth. However, even if they are not mother and daughter, they should be best friends because they really have something special in common. We was going to the same beautician. She used to live like a She goes over skating. I was going skating on Sunday nights. Yeah. Both of you were going yeah. to the same skating rink yeah. on yeah. the same wow. night? Yeah. 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 It seems like it was meant for them to meet each other sooner or later anyway. But it will be better for us all if the judge reads the results sooner, because it's hard to wait in limbo. <laughs> I want to be with my family so bad, Judge Mathis. I've been waiting for 42 years for this to happen. I've always wanted to be a mother, and now I'm a mother and a grandmother. Like any show, guests are usually kept in suspense for some time, but here, the emotions are already too high, and the results can no longer be sealed. Give your mama a hug. Here goes the <laughs> oh, that's so I good. Love me, I love you. That's love so. Love. They look like fucking twins, <laughs> yo. Oh, the that's thing that so everyone good. expected has happened, and this time everyone is emotional, but at the that's same crazy. time, the happiest. I just want to thank God for this reunion. This is my Aww. baby. <laughs> Jesus. This case ended happily, 
And we move on to the final episode in our ranking, which is also one of the most memorable episodes for Judge Mathis. That would have hurt. To, uh, St. Louis, Missouri, mm -hmm. with my aunt and my uncle. You and moved there from where? From Oakland, California. There was too many problems in Oakland and stuff, and I was going through a lot of problems out there. I wanted to live a good life. Trying to know? get away from the tough streets of Oakland. Exactly, Oakland, California. This boy had a difficult childhood. His parents died after an overdose, and he started living on the streets. However, he always had bigger ambitions and wanted to live a normal life. I moved in with my uncle and my uh, aunt, and like our relationship was fine up to like June. He saved himself from street life and went to live with relatives. Yet this turned out to be a huge mistake. Or one morning he busted in my room, you know, talking about busted open the door, talking about turning the music down or something. Music was real low. I asked me, you know, I said, excuse me, you could have knocked. He said, I could have knocked. He said, this is my house. I don't have to knock about nothing. Well, they went and grabbed the big stick that he used to beat the dogs with and put it and was like, I'm God, you. that is a lie. What happened to him at his uncle's house is no unthinkable. Way. We're about to find out how horribly his uncle treated him and what a monster he is. Yeah. How many times I told you the number one rule, no man is a bigger man than me in my house. And I said, you open your mouth again, we, gonna, we can take it outside. Your Honor, I let that, him know right then and there. Your Honor, that's the, the truth. This dude is crazy. He threw a knife that's at not, me. That's, like, that's, not, that's not crazy. That's defending my house. You. The judge already has tears in his eyes and he can't bear to hear what harm has been done to this boy face. in his life. And the worst is yet to come. You would your have, I'm, your, I'm your nephew, man. I'm I, you're not nothing to me. You no, I understand nephew. that now. I understand that now. It was already too much. In this courtroom, there's no place for such injustice, and something has to be done about it. I don't want to hear no more of this. Yeah, has Mathis been Hand me a piece of tissue, man. Ooh. Oh. Judge Mathis has already completely fallen apart, and now he has something very important and emotional to share. Move from the streets of Oakland to escape the gangs. Plead out to you for help. You let him move in there, knowing what he done went through all his life. He running from the street gang. This case has affected him very personally, and he will do anything to help this boy. And yeah, I'm crying because I see myself in it. There's one thing to give a young man tough love. But where's the love? All I hear is toughness. The judge's words give us all shivers, and we've never seen him like this before. After watching these sad moments, we would recommend you watch our previous video about the funniest moments to cheer you up. Click here mm. to check it out. Look at them big ass teeth. I wouldn't be surprised if he getting in the wife's ass. Her face, her face literally says it all. Her face tells the truth. He denies it. They put the camera on her. See, the cameraman is very strategic about that shit. Production, very strategic. The nephew will make a claim about something. The uncle will deny it. Immediately shows the wife or the girlfriend, whoever the fuck, shows her face. And you could see it all over her face, like, uh, he be kind of get he be he be yelling at me too. Oh my god, this was really, really I'm happy though that the second one came out to be um that that lady was her daughter. I'm really happy about that because I was a little bit afraid. Like, no, I'm sorry, this isn't your daughter. But they look so alike, there is no way possible that that could not have been her fucking child or relative or whatever but um leave some comments down below let me know what you guys think and i will see y'all in the next one toodles